Sharesies is one of the biggest investing platforms in New Zealand. There's over 600,000 people using the platform and it's packed with lots of great features like letting you manage your KiwiSaver, a high interest savings account on uninvested money that gives you a 4.6% return and it gives you access to the Australian, New Zealand and American stock market. During this video, I'll show you everything there is to know about the platform from setting up an account to making your first investment. So firstly, to create an account, you'll just have to provide all the general pieces of info like your email address, date of birth, phone number, pretty much the same as making a profile on Facebook or Instagram, but you'll just need to provide a few extra pieces of info like your driver's license and a utilities bill just to add an extra layer of security so they can verify your identity. When you're creating your account, make sure to check out my affiliate link in the description box below that'll give you a free $5 when you first sign up. So after you've made your account with Sharesies, this is what the home screen looks like. You can take a look at your investments, your savings account, and it'll also show you how much money you have available in your wallet. If you want to search for any specific stocks, click on the explore icon in the bottom left corner and you can look at a whole variety of different companies. So you can look at things like ETFs, different sectors in the market like healthcare and tourism. And you can also search specifically for different types of investments that you might want to make. When you click on the search icon, you can set your filters. So at the moment, mine is based on market cap. So these are the companies with the largest overall value. So mainly American stocks. So you can see big players like Apple, Microsoft and Nvidia are all at the top. So if we click on one of these companies like Apple, it will show you a lot of detailed info about that business. It will show you the stock price, the price movement this stock has had across different time points. So you can see one month, six months and five years as well. You can take a look at the open high and low, the P ratio, the dividend yield that it provides and just to give you a bit more information about that business to see if you're interested in actually buying it. The other tabs include the wallet tab and this is where it will show you all the different currencies that can be locked up on the platform so there's the New Zealand dollar, Australian dollar and the US dollar as well. When it comes to making an investment one of the first things you have to do is put some money onto the platform. So you can either do this with a bank transfer or with a debit card. Bank transfer is the easiest. You get a unique bank account number and a reference number that's specific to your Sharesies profile. You top up your account exactly the same way. You set this up as a PayYE on your mobile banking app and topping up Sharesies and transferring money to it is exactly the same as transferring money to one of your friends. If you top up your money with a debit card, the fees can add up pretty quickly. If you put a thousand dollars onto the platform, you'll have to spend about thirty dollars just to do that and that's money you could be investing instead. So I would always recommend topping up with a bank transfer. So once you have your money on the platform, it's going to show up in your wallet. Now depending on what country you're investing in, you might have to exchange that money. So let's say you put some New Zealand dollars onto the platform. If you want to buy a stock like Apple, you have to convert that NZD into USD. So there's a fee for this and you get charged 0.5% to convert one currency to another. And also when you buy a stock, you're going to have to pay a brokerage fee. Now this is 1.9% of your total investment, but depending on what country you're investing in, there's also a maximum fee you'll be charged for your brokerage cost. And the brokerage cost is just whenever you buy or sell an investment. So for American stocks, the max fee is going to be five US dollars. For Australian stocks, it's 15 AUD. And for New Zealand stocks, it's 25 New Zealand dollars. Sharesies has a great pricing tab on their website, and it'll actually show you how much you'll be charged to make investments of different amounts. So as you can see on screen, if you're investing five New Zealand dollars into the New Zealand market, you're going to be charged 10 cents. If you're investing 500 New Zealand dollars, it's going to be $9.50. NZD and if you're investing $10,000 you're going to pay $25 in fees. You can also take a look at this for the American market as well. If you're investing $500 USD it's $7.53 in fees. If you're investing $10,000 USD it's $55 total in fees because this also factors in the foreign exchange fee that you have to pay. And you can also take a look at how Sharesy stacks up to its competitors like ASB Securities, Hatch and Stake. If you want to get a break 
breakdown of the fees, how they compare between different investing platforms. Tiger Brokers is also offering a promotion that gives new users 30 New Zealand dollars when they first sign up and fund their account with any amount. Also, if you fund your account with 2000 NZD within the first seven days of signing up, then you will get an extra 50 NZD. That means you could get up to 80 New Zealand dollars when you first sign up to Tiger Brokers. And there are no foreign exchange fees for exchanging up to 2000 NZD to the US dollar per month and also up to four basic transaction fees waived for US and Australia stocks as long as you have the account okay so let's say you want to make an investment just click on the search tab let's say we'd like to buy some shares of Apple just click on the particular stock that you're wanting to invest in or manually search for it and then once you've taken a look at all the financial info just make sure to click on the buy icon in the bottom right corner after you've made the decision you want to buy this investment you think it's going to be profitable click on buy and then there's two different options so there's market buy and limit buy so I just go with market buy where you're buying the shares of the company at the current market price. So at the moment, Apple is 218 US dollars versus if you go limit buy order, this is where you set the price that you're willing to pay. So just to keep things straightforward, we'll go with market buy, then click on next, then enter the amount that you're wanting to invest. So I've got $11.76 on my wallet. And if you only have say New Zealand dollars on here, it's gonna automatically factor in the cost of converting your NZD into USD when it gives you a breakdown of the fees. So there's the transaction fee here. So it's going to show you how much you're investing. So $11.54 USD. The transaction fee is about 20 cents USD. And then it breaks down the currency conversion. So we can click on that here and it's just going to expand the cost that we've paid for that. So just under 10 cents NZD to convert our money from the New Zealand dollar into the US dollar. Then click on buy and then the share will be purchased for you so this process is not instant it'll take about 24 to 48 hours for those shares to show up in your account and selling your shares and withdrawing that money into your own personal bank account does also take about one to two days so it's not instant and depending on when you buy your shares and what country you're investing in it may take longer there's different opening hours for the American market versus the New Zealand market typically New Zealand stocks are going to be quicker if you're based in NZ if you're based in Australia selling and buying Australia Australian stocks will be a bit faster so typically the US market will take the longest whenever you're buying or selling an investment. Knowing how to use an investing platform is just part of the puzzle. All of this info is completely useless unless you know the best investing strategies as well. If you want to know the easiest and safest ways to maximize your returns in the stock market then make sure to check out this video on screen to see exactly how to do that.